to say good morning, but it's actually 10 past five in the afternoon. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I hope everybody is well. The weekend, we I work these a week behind, so you're always a week and a bit behind when you get these. Well, you're not, I am. <laughs> So the weekend we've just had has been the Jubilee weekend and it was lovely but busy and hectic. So today has felt like a very Monday-ish Monday. It's been quite long. I'm quite low energy and um, didn't really, wasn't really in the frame of mind for getting back to work yet. I felt like I would have like, it feels like it's a long stretch of work now. I kind of prefer bank holidays to be at the beginning of the week than the end. I don't know why. It <laughs> doesn't really make a lot of difference to me. It's not like I'm going out to work. But um, yes, it's felt like a Monday-ish Monday. I wasn't actually going to start the weekly vlog today. However, I have this from Marks and Spencer's, their new beauty bag. And I got it on Saturday. Mum and I went shopping to Marks and Spencer's just for a look round. Very nice and colourful in Marks and Spencer's. I only bought one thing. Mum bought a couple of things and Mum spent the 30 quid required to purchase one of these for £25. Um, you have to spend a minimum of £30 to be able to purchase one of these for £25. So I paid the £25 to buy this but mum purchased the I don't know why I'm explaining this it's completely irrelevant <laughs> completely irrelevant anyway I want to see what's in it I needed some new beauty products like I needed a bloody hole in the head frankly but you know you know when something that seems like a good offer difficult to refuse anyway let's open it and see what's in it apparently so it says on the thingamajig the contents are worth £160 and there are six, I think it said six, includes six full-size products. So, but I'm never going to be able to pack it all neatly back in here again after I've got it all out. Right, so there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things in here, which makes them work out at £2 and something each doesn't it two pounds 25 two, a bit less than that but anyway first of all we have a body butter from this works um, mood boost mood perfect legs body butter mood boosting body moisturizer with geranium and sweet ol sweet orange essential oils oh it's sealed hang on i will unseal it so we can see Oh, that smells nice. Very nice. I like that. Then we have a Percy and Reed Perfect Shine Mirror Mirror Shine Serum. Um, what does it say? Do work two to four drops of the serum through towel dried hair from mid lengths to the ends. So, yeah, there's that one. Oh, Clinique. I used, when I was in my 20s, I used to use Clinique all the time. I was working on the ships then and Clinique was much, based in America a lot of the time and um, Clinique was much, much cheaper in the States than it was in the UK at that time. I do not know if that is still the case, but I used to use all the Clinique products and um, this will remind me of that Mo Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrator. So it's, it's a decent sized pot. That's how big that is. It doesn't feel very heavy. Is it a very whipped product? Oh, it's like a gel consistency. Okay, then we've got Origins Refreshing Eye Cream. I do not use a separate eye cream to brighten and de-puff. Um, I love eye cream is just a step too far for me i do double cleansing and i do toning and spritzing and serum and moisturizing but yeah i just never get around to using a separate eye cream and um angie hot and flashy who i used to watch on youtube who is a over 50 influencer um and has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful skin. Also doesn't use a separate eye cream, or certainly didn't when I used to watch her. Um, so I thought if she didn't, it was good enough for me not to. <laughs> so um, yeah, that one I won't be using. Um, 
This is white coconut eau de toilette. Oh, interesting. Let's give that a go. What does it say? Coconut, vanilla and amber. That sounds perfect for summer, doesn't it? Oh, that is very summery. Light and summery. Nice. Then we have an Aveda hair product. This is a leave-in conditioner, strengthening leave-in treatment. Nice big full-size one again. Oh, this looks nice. This is an Emma Hardy. Love Emma Hardy cleansing balm. This is the Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist. Um, always love a nice facial mist in the summer. This is, I don't never know how you pronounce this. Is it Prey or Pry? I feel like Prey. Um, ageless Upper Arm Cream. Upper Arm Cream? <laughs> Do I need a separate cream for my upper arms and why is it specific what about it is specific to the upper arms i feel like i'm gonna have to go google this and find out um god honestly if i think an eye cream's too far i'm gonna never use an upper arm cream am i but that's, this made me giggle anyway massage into upper arms using circular motions until the product is fully absorbed for best results use twice a day so what's it supposed to do it's not i'm, I'm gonna google this um autograph lip stick pencil thing um that's an ms own brand that actually looks quite nice let's oh quite like that matches the top i've got on today doesn't it right got two things wrapped in tissue oh pretty nail polish really nice pink Bright pinkish nail polish, lovely, perfect for some of that. Nails ink one. And what else have we got? A little Nooks product, I like Nooks. Um, Wheel Prodigieuse, it's their famous oil, isn't it? Um, but they call it multi-purpose dry oil for face, body and hair. This is the floral version. Um, don't think I've tried that before. Oh, that's nice. It's got the very, um, the original smell, but it's a little bit more floral. It's quite nice. Um, I wouldn't use it on my hair, but it's very nice on body. Not sure I'd use it on my face either. Um, I've got a specific facial oil that I use on my face, but I use this as a body, instead of a body cream type of thing, when I've got particularly dry skin, uh, particularly down the fronts of my shins, which seem to be particularly dry at the moment. Right, that is it. That was rather nice, wasn't it? Um, quite pleased with almost all of those, but I am going to go and look into upper arm cream to see what it's supposed to do, and then I'll test it and see if it does it. Bet it doesn't. Sounds gimmicky to me. Okay, I have Googled the arm cream. Sorry, upper arm cream. Apparently, it a um, unique caffeine-infused complex wages war on slack skin. <laughs> wages war. A bit much, isn't it? Um, to help visibly firm and tone upper arms. I'm not convinced that a cream can do that. I'm, I'm really not. I feel like exercise and, um, yeah, arm exercises... Rich emollients smooth the skin surface and added with an ig what and added with an invigorating light minty fragrance helps your skin feel energized and look smoother. It doesn't even that sentence doesn't even make sense. Um, apparently, ninety eight percent of people felt more confident about their upper arms. Anyway, it's got good reviews. It's, it's on the Prey Pry Prey Pry website. Um, Dawn in her 50s says, only just started using my ageless upper arm cream, but already the skin looks better. Crepiness has decreased. This is a lovely cream, smells lovely, and I'd say it makes a difference to your arms. Gives a smooth, shinyish appearance, so immediately you look a little more toned. Do you know, it's converted, we're just reading this, is I'm so gullible. Um, Certainly helps tone the tone and look of elderly arms, says Carol. Well, we'll give it a go. I'm still sceptical, but, you know, nothing ventured and all that. Good.
morning. I've been out in the rain. I washed my hair and then went out in the rain. It wasn't meant to rain today. It was meant to be a nice day. In fact, at one point they said it was going to be the best day of the week. However, oh, nasty ankle. I don't, don't like what I look like this morning. <laughs> However, it's been raining since first thing. Also, I, it just brightened up a little bit and I put my washing out and then it's just started raining again. However, the sky is brightening up, I think. Looking a little brighter over there, is it not? Do you remember the fox cub I showed you last week? There's two fox cubs and we, during lockdown, we bought a uh, um, night vision camera. There is a video somewhere on my channel of um, I put together some clips from the it's motion activated night vision camera that we put out in the garden at night and um, I'll, I'll link the video up here if I can um, if I can find it what goes on in my garden at night I think it's called um, and we've got so much joy from watching the wildlife we've had hedgehogs foxes and um anyway yes the two fox cubs we put the night vision camera out and ashley's put some dog snacks out for we went and bought some dog snacks little biscuits and put them out and the two little cubs are so sweet they come every evening we actually watched them out of the curtains last night we lay on the floor and watched them out of the curtains about ten, just as it got dark about 10 o'clock and um oh they're so sweet just two tiny little cubs and they run around the patio honestly so don't you get so much joy from nature honestly it's just lovely but um i've not seen them in the day out here again although i don't often look you know it's not somewhere that i'm looking they could be out there all the time playing um and i just don't happen to notice them but um yes the foxes are lovely hey i was going to go over to marks and spencer's and a viewer recommended in my comments, when, do you remember I was talking about that handbag, that crossbody handbag, I got the appealed and it had had to go to handbag heaven um, and I wanted something to replace it. A viewer told me about a bag in Marks and Spencers, which I've looked up online and I feel like it might be a little bigger than I'm looking for. However, she assured me it wouldn't be. So I'm gonna, I was gonna go over to Marks and Spencers and have a look at that and then maybe do an outside walk. Uh, just notice a bit of blue sky appearing over there um do an outside walk and perhaps wander around some charity shops over in that direction but it's it was so horrible first thing that i didn't feel like it so decided that i might do that tomorrow so i'm gonna have a worky day today at my desk i've got a couple of other bits and pieces that i want to get on with and um yes that's the, the, the sort of a homey worky day today and then out and about tomorrow that's the current plan Side note, I must book a hair appointment. My hair is getting very long and I add that to today's list. It's time for lunch. I've finished my eBay listing and I've just made myself some lunch. And it looks so nice, I thought I'd show it to you. Look at that. How delicious does that look? I'm very much looking forward to eating that. So that brings me to the sponsor for this part of today's video who is second nature i embarked on a weight loss plan last year um i did quite well i lost quite a bit of weight and then the second this was at the beginning of last year second half of last year i had a lot of stress in my life took my eye off the ball and all the weight went back on Beginning of this year, I started HRT. Uh, one of the side effects of HRT is that you can put on weight and I really couldn't afford to put on any weight. And I did. And I got to the stage that I was thinking, I've really got to do something about this weight again. This has been happening my entire adult life. I've had a weight problem my entire adult life. And it's beginning to impact on my health. I've talked about this before. And then just at the time that I was thinking, I've got to start doing something about this, I was approached by Second Nature. I'd not heard of Second Nature before. Um, and they wondered if I would be interested in doing a collaborative video with them. And so I looked at who they were, I thought, who are you? So I looked them up. And it's basically a holistic weight loss program, all based within an app 
and it's a little bit different from any weight loss program that I've been in. I've, I've done all the diets in all the shapes and all the sizes over the years, as I'm sure many of you have. And um, I needed to have something that was going to be a lifestyle change, a long term thing, and second nature seems to fit that. I'm on day two, full disclosure, I am on day two, and the idea of my collaborative relationship with Second Nature is that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Introduce It today, and then after I've been on the programme for one month, I'm going to make a standalone video and tell you all about it in depth and how I've got on, because as they say, the proof of the pudding the healthy pudding, is in the eating, isn't it? So I'm going to try it for a month and I'm going to see how I get on and I will be telling you all about it. The first thing that attracted me to it that made me think it was different from everything else is that the NHS used this programme. It is endorsed by the NHS for weight loss in people who have struggled with weight loss in the past. So that seemed to me like a really good thing. That really attracted me to giving it a go. It's all based in an app. It's, as I say, holistic. It's a bit of exercise. It's nutritional guide. You have your own group chat with 20 other people who have started at the same time as you on the program. So you can all chat away in there about how you're getting on and get support there. And you've also got your own one-to-one -one chat with a nutritionist, a registered nutritionist who will guide you through the program and I will be letting you know how I get on with it. Um, for anyone who's interested, I'll pop a link in the description box. I also have a discount code for £10 off your first month if anybody's interested in signing up. But as I say, I will be making a video, standalone video, all about it and how I've got on with it at the end of the month. So you may want to hold fire until then but I just wanted to have a little chat with you about it and now I'm off to eat my delicious lunch which I literally can't wait to get down my neck. It's quarter to seven. I've just made sausage casserole for dinner. Smoky paprika sausage casserole. It smells delicious. Waiting to eat it. Just cooking some brown. Ashley's cooking some rice actually. I'm a hopeless cooker of rice. Cooking some brown rice to go with it. Um I have spent the afternoon sorting out William's clothing. Well, Will is down in Cornwall with his girlfriend at the moment and her parents on holiday. And he bought her, he emptied his uni flat house um, and bought all his stuff back on the way through from Bath to Cornwall. My God, I've never known anyone with so many clothes. In, I must have done six loads of washing so far. Just ridiculous. And he's very, very untidy. Spent the afternoon washing, ironing, sorting out his wardrobe. And yes, I know he's 22, but it was, I asked him, he seems incapable of sorting stuff out. I can't, Kid's just, I don't know, I know he's not a kid, but um, he's just quite untidy and disorganised when it comes to the state of his room. And I did get, when he was here for a few days previously, I did get him to sort out a load of drawers where he had all sorts of wires and Xbox stuff and bits and pieces. And he did sort those out, but he hasn't done the clothes. He's only coming back for one night before he goes to Vietnam for a month. Um, which is on Thursday. He, he's coming back on Thursday for the night. Um, and I just, if if I'd left all the clothes and done nothing with them, and he won't have time when he's here for one night on um, Thursday, I'd have been more stressed out about it. I don't really mind doing his washing. I sorted out his clothing drawers and his wardrobe. And it's been a bit of a big job, actually. It's taken me quite a while. Um... Yes, I wasn't really anticipating it doing that this afternoon, but I feel good that it's it's not even done. It's sort of almost done <laughs> rather than being completed. And I feel a bit exhausted. I'm going to put on some comfy clothes and watch a bit of telly, I think. Ashley came in from work late 
and has got a straight back on his computer so I assume he's still working. Um, the builders didn't leave till after six and um, yeah it's just been a long day today and it's been horrible weather as well really sort of just cloudy and a bit damp and unpleasant i'm hoping it's going to improve but i don't think it's due to the rest of this week but um anyway bit of out and about tomorrow morning and um yeah that's the plan for tomorrow i feel like i've been a bit boring on here this week so far but um some weeks are just like that, aren't they? It's just the way things go, I guess. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I've got on that new lipstick that um, came in the Marks and Spencer Beauty bag and it's a very bright colour for me, but I think I quite like it. What do you think? Not sure, but I feel like it's quite a flattering shade, despite the fact it's bright. Anyway, it's Wednesday another dull miserable day i have just put on the last load of williams washing shan't be sorry to see the back of that and i'm cooking myself some french toast with fruit and greek yogurt for breakfast um looking forward to eating that then i'm off out to marks and spencer's to have a look at this handbag that i was talking about yesterday and um, i need to get some petrol and yeah, just a few bits and pieces really, and then back home to do some organising. I am not a naturally organised person. I don't know if you are, but I like to be organised, but it doesn't come easily to me in terms of I, I'm almost a little bit ADHD in that I'm on to the next thing, on to the next. I just need to flip my toes, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm almost one of those sort of really, really enthusiastic about something and then drop it all and go on to the next thing. And um, by that, I mean that I'm doing something and then I, my mind is whirling on to the next thing and I don't stop and put away and organise what I've already done and I'm not naturally tidy. I think I am organised inside my head but I'm not naturally tidy and I have to work at it and because of that I feel a lot of the time like I always have so much to do. It's, this is hard to explain, I don't know if I'm explaining it well. Um, so I'm trying to put strategies into my life at the moment that make me be more tidy. Like I, if I get something out, I try and make myself put it away. Like I'll do my makeup in the morning and I'll be busy rushing to get on to the next thing. And I'll just leave all my makeup out on the side and not clean my brushes and put them away. So I've been really trying hard to do that. Been trying to put away my clothes at night. Not brilliant at that. Sometimes I do them in the morning, but that's okay. As long as the previous day's clothes get put away, that works. Um, just tidying up as I go along with cooking, that sort of thing. And um, yes, just because, also because of this new eating plan that I'm on, um, that is a lot more cooking and preparing from scratch um, and therefore a lot more mess in the kitchen than I would naturally do on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, that needs to be organized as well. Anyway, I think my toast's done, so I'm gonna go and eat it. Excuse the builder noise, but French toast with strawberries, blueberries, and Greek yogurt, yum. I'm in the handbag department at Marks and Spencer, and whoever my lovely viewer was, whose name I can't remember, apologies, who suggested this might be the one. You are right. This is just perfect. The strap, I'll show you when I get home anyway. This is the one I'm gonna buy. And it comes in pink as well, which I'd also like to buy, but I don't need a pink handbag. This is lovely. I love the shape of this one. I think I've pointed this one out before. I feel like it's 29.50, but that looks so much more expensive than it is. It also comes in tan. They haven't got it in here, but it does come in tan and it's really nice. I'll link it below if I can find it on the website. I am loving all this floral nightwear. I don't wear a dressing gown, but how pretty is this red rose print? 
sorry, yellow and rose print. It's got it in pink as well. Got a little nighty to match. And it's got pyjamas as well. So cute. Really like it. And then they've got this pink one here. A little bees on. Super cute. Right, Marks and Spencers is done. A little bit later than I anticipated. It's 20 to 1 because the guy came to talk to us about the balustrades for the um, railings, I guess. Not balustrades, that's the wrong word. Yeah, railings for the balcony. Um, earlier than we were thinking, so I waited at home until he'd been. And we chatted to him and then I came out after that. But I also got the weekly vlog edited and exported, so that was good. Why is it? Why is it observation on life here that people who struggle with parking choose to park in narrow spaces where they are going to hold up a lot of people? I'm just shutting the door to see if he's still trying to park. <laughs> a lot of people while they spend half an hour moving backwards and forwards and trying to get into a parking space. Why do they do that? There is a bit where I'm parked in, there's nobody that side of me, there's two spaces that side, and there's at least half a dozen in the cars beyond each side. It's further away from Marks and Spencer's door, it is further away from Mark. I suppose he could have been disabled, but he wasn't parking in a disabled space and there were some empty disabled spaces so I'm assuming he wasn't but <laughs> it's just it would be easier for you it would be kinder to the six cars just queued up in around the car park behind him waiting for him to maneuver into the space and yeah just just weird I would have thought it'd be far easier and less stressful to park a bit further away where it's easier to park if you struggle getting into a parking space. Anyway, that's my observation on life for this morning. You'll have to excuse the builder noise. I know it's bad. We're just going to rename these weekly vlogs. Vlogs of a grumpy old woman. So I'm going to have another moan now. These letters have arrived today, all delivered today. Three for Ashley. Four for William. Three for me. They are all for, they're related to our last pair of attorneys, which we've set up. And they are all from the Office of the Public Guardian. So public money is being used to send these. How much does it cost to send a letter? About a pound now or something like that? Why? have they sent four to one person at one address on the same day four would fit in one envelope just such a bloody outrageous waste of public money it annoys the life out of me um god i'm very moany today aren't i i feel like i ought to make the next segment something a little more light-hearted i'll work on that when i have some lunch i'm quite, I'm quite hangry actually so <laughs> I'd have some lunch, cheer up a bit. <laughs> My second pair of new glasses has arrived. I'm pleased with these ones as well. I really like them. The first time I've looked at them, I didn't, haven't looked at them in the mirror. I just put them on to look in the viewfinder. Um, yeah, happy with those, with the pink frames. I love the shape of these. These ones were the super cheap ones. These were only £16. Honestly, I don't know why anybody pays expensive money for designer glasses. I feel like these are um, just as good as any expensive ones. I really do. It's about half past five. I am super, super, super tired. And I just realised I didn't show you the handbag I bought from Marks and Spencer's this morning. Kindly recommended by a viewer. This is it. As you can see, it has a very long, adjustable crossbody strap. So, it can go as far as 
this, this would be the longest. Um, I was concerned when they first recommended it and I looked it up that it was going to be um, too big. But in actual fact, it's not. Right, let me just take you to the mirror so I can show you what it looks like. It's there, so it's got quite a nice long strap. So it sits nicely, sort of at hip level, which is just what I wanted. Love the colour. Size is, oh God, sorry, the reflection. I know someone's gonna ask about my top. Um, it is from Georgia Asda about at least three years ago, before 2020. And a sort of corally colour. Match the handbag. I will link it in the description box below for you if anybody's interested. Zip top so it's nice and secure and then it's got a separate side pocket there. Sort of almost like two compartments. No it's a side pocket and then also a separate zip pocket in that side which is just perfect and I can easily get my phone, my camera, a lipstick and anything I might need for a hotel, an evening out on holiday. The strap doesn't unclip, does it? Oh, no, I'm completely lying. The strap does unclip, so if you wanted to replace it with a different strap, you could do. I am very pleased with that. Good morning, it's Friday. I'm having a good makeup day today. I'm happy with my makeup. You know how sometimes it just turns out right. Um. Will's here and Georgie, might have said that yesterday, I can't remember, and we had a lovely evening with them last night. We cooked Greek lamb and um, had dinner and chatted and generally had a good evening. Also, we put the night vision camera out last night. The fox cubs are so sweet. I showed you the fox cubs in, uh, or one fox cub and the mother, like, mother or father, I don't know which one it was actually. Um, in last week's video and uh, we've been putting our night vision camera out. In fact, I've mentioned that already in this video, haven't I? Forget what I've said to you over the course of a week. Um, let me put in a bit of footage from last night when we had five fox cubs in the garden. was that so lovely um anyway yes today i am taking will and georgie out for breakfast they are heading off to bath and then up to london um a bit later on um today so i'm taking them out for breakfast brunch it will be actually because it's already 10.05 and we're going out it's about half past 10 i think and Ashley's at work, the builder is here, as you can probably hear in the background. Um, I'm having a homey day, other than going out for breakfast, I'm going to um, I'm going to crack on with some eBay listing and um, do some tidying and organising. I'm in quite a tidying and organising mood today, I think. Really enjoying my video with um, sharing my YouTube recommendations and you guys all sharing yours in the comments um, went up yes the day before yesterday and i'm really enjoying working my way through all your comments um i'm being very slow at putting the little hearts on them but as i go through each one and um bookmark the channel that you've recommended to go and have a look at i put a heart on it so i know which ones i've done and which one there were so many recommendations that it's taken me a while to get through them all but i'm really enjoying finding new people to watch and um I'm going to spend the weekend watching some of them. Oh, just said goodbye to Will and Georgie. They've just gone back off to Bath. Excuse the builder noise. I'm trying quite unsuccessfully not to have a little weep because I'm so worried about him going to so far away. Oh, stupid, I know. He's lived away from home for four years. But, um, just the thought of him going to Thailand and Vietnam. It's, um, oh, scary. I'm a worrying, I'm a worrier anyway, a worried mother. Thank God for HRT, because I can imagine what state I'd be in if I wasn't on the HRT. Right, oh, I don't know what happened there. 
<laughs> we didn't have any light, did we? I am going to finish off this week's weekly vlog with a very quick clothes declutter. As previous viewers will know, or long-term viewers will know, I have three wardrobes and I have a lot of clothes. And sporadically, I do a very quick, literally less than five minutes, flick through one of them and get rid of stuff. And this is the one I'm tackling today, which don't feel like there's going to be loads to get rid of. This is all sort of evening wear um, or occasion wear, so that won't be going. Um, but I have quite a lot of summer stuff in here that I need to go through and um, just see if there's any stuff that I don't feel like I'm going to wear anymore because I think there probably is. There's at least one jumpsuit here that jumpsuits when you get to a certain age just the thought of wearing a jumpsuit and having to peel the whole damn thing off in order to go to the loo. Why does somebody not invent jumpsuits with poppers underneath? How good would that be? Although I can see issues. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to flick through this. I'll show you what I'm getting rid of when I get to the end. And um, I'm also going to do a drawer of t-shirts in the other room that is getting over full and needs sorting. Right, let me show you what I'm getting rid of. Done quite well. That took me maybe five minutes to go through the wardrobe and the drawers. Now I like to preface these segments. Oh, and I know someone's gonna say what you're wearing today. So I'll just show you. Um, these jeggings, said a few weeks ago that I was really fed up with um, the super skinny look. Kind of, as the weather's got warmer, kind of like it again as long as i'm wearing it with longer line tops anyway these i saw the, this color of super skinny jeggings in marks and spencers these bright blue ones last weekend and treated myself to a pair um i'll link them in the description box below i think it's in fairly new in color this one um and this top is old it's like a gray leopard print from blue vanilla tiered top it's very lightweight very cottony nice and cool anyway yes i like to preface these segments by saying i do buy a lot of clothes and i'm fortunate to be gifted quite a lot of clothes as well which is always very nice um as a result of being on youtube and i do always pass on my clothes or either to charity shops or i sell them um, so none of this is going into landfill, so don't worry. I also buy a lot of clothes secondhand on Vinted and in charity shops and all of that sort of thing. So although I like some fast fashion, I do try and be sustainable in other ways as well. Right, that having been said, let me show you what I'm getting rid of. First of all, we're going to do the t-shirts. This I bought from a charity shop. It's originally Bon Marche. It's just a pastel striped t-shirt. I've just had it a good few years, I've worn it a lot and it's time to move it on. It's still in really good condition so it will have a wash and then go to the charity shop, that one. Um, this one was another charity shop buy, this is yours clothing and it's really nice. I like this a lot, I have worn it several times but it's made out of like a nylon-y mesh fabric and the underlayer is also nylon-y and it's very hot considering it's a sort of floaty summer top it's just a bit hot and sticky um i'll probably pop that one onto vintage i should think because it's yours clothing so quite a popular brand this i can't tell you how many years i've had this in fact will and i were um reminiscing about how long he'd had his clothes when I was talking to him about how many clothes he had as I was talking to you about earlier in the week um we looked back through old photos to see how long he'd had some of the clothes that he was hanging on to and I saw myself in this in a holiday photo in about 2015 so I do believe it's time for this one to go I loved this I wore it a lot it was originally Evans it's not it, it's it's definitely in warm condition I will give it a wash see what I think of it it will probably go to the charity shop I think because that one I've had for a very long time 
This is another one destined for the cherished shot. I don't know what I was thinking. This is, again, I've had it for a long time. It's a sort of racer back style. I only ever wore it over a swimming costume with shorts. Um, it's got plaited straps and just, although I love it and I love the colour, it's not in any way flattering on me. So it's time it went, that one. Charity shop again. Um, right, out of my wardrobe. I am getting rid of this top. I think I might have shown this in a haul. A yours clothing, is it yours or Evans? It's yours. Um, I love this top. I just don't love me in this top. I liked the idea of it. I am tending now to shy away from big and small floral prints. Um, I don't like them as much as I used to. I prefer a geometric print or stripes, something like that. I don't, I feel like when you're plus size anyway, that the big floral prints maybe don't do me any favours, especially in very brightly coloured, but I don't, I don't know. Anyway, it's a really nice top. It's a, like a Bardot style top with elastic and it's from yours clothing and it's lovely. Um, and I've only worn it about three times because I just don't reach for it because I just don't feel nice in it. So that one is also on its way. This dress was a charity shop buy. It's just a little sort of throw on. It's actually really pretty colours. But again, it's a sort of ditzy floral print. Um, I've worn it as a throw on beach dress type of thing. Um, came from a charity shop. I don't know if I've already said that. Um, but I just again the floral thing on its way this one you might remember it's a top with gorgeous lace sleeves from Primark um, this fabric is not particularly nice it's sort of like t-shirt fabric but I don't think it's got any cotton in and it's it doesn't feel nice. It's another one that has the not particularly nice fabric. Love the sleeves and you might have, if you've been here a while, you'll have seen me wear this when we've been away for the evening or out for the evening and it's lovely, but it just doesn't feel nice. This one was an eBay buy. It's like a little embroidered sort of summer cotton smock top. Um, it's by Zanzia is the brand and um, I like it, but I have another very similar one in yellow with a V-neck, which I like more. So that one, I think, charity shop for that one. This top from yours, that on paper, there's no reason why I wouldn't like this, but I just, I'll tell you why I don't like it. It's because even when you roll the sleeves back and do the tab and button thing, they roll themselves down, example there. And that really annoys me. I like the length, I like the double layer thing at the front. It's cool and floaty, a little bit over long on me as a lot of yours clothing stuff is when you're five foot three. But um, yeah, the sleeves just annoy me so I never ever reach for it. It nearly went in the last wardrobe cull and it didn't, but it's going this time. So I think I've only worn it once or maybe twice. So that one will definitely be sold. And finally, you may remember this one. This was gifted by New Look um, for a try-on video just before Christmas. And I really liked it. It is too long on me. And it's very shiny. And I tried it on before we went on the cruise to decide whether or not to take it on the cruise. And I decided against it because it felt a little bit shiny. Um, Somebody will love this dress. It's still got its tags on. It's a beautiful dress. So that one will be going. Um, someone will love this dress somewhere. So it's much better to move it on and get it um, to someone who wants to wear it, isn't it? So that one will be on its way as well. And that is the end of this week's weekly vlog. Let me just turn you around so you've got slightly better light the end of this week's weekly vlog i hope you've all had a good week i hope you're having a lovely weekend as you watch this and we'll see you again next week thanks for watching bye bye